said uh, Chris uh, mixes ganja with butter. Yeah, really? And uh, he just gives me bits of chocolate and puts the butter on it. Very, oh, very yeah. nice way to take it to take it in, and very sweet and very nice. And I like uh, it that way too. Takes about an hour to kick in. <clears throat> it's a nice body high. And yeah, and then I would fall asleep. Oh yeah, that's good. <laughs> Many times I fell asleep watching films. Wow. So it's probably good for you. I mean, I don't know. Of course, one time, yeah, no, I, I, one time I ate, I ate a whole bunch of like pot butter, and I stayed up for three days. I was awake for three days. It was wonderful. I was like doing creative. It's called pot, pot pot butter. Can of butter? You could call it can of butter, pot butter. I don't know. Can of butter. Yeah, can mm -hmm. of butter. You could rub it in your skin. You could massage yourself with it. You know, all kinds of stuff. Basically, I'm wondering what I do with my paper. Yeah. So Graham Stewart's in California. Look at you. <laughs> I'm Calif Cali, California. <coughs> Cali. Always. Yeah. Always. <coughs> really strange. Strange people. I've, I mean, I've met so many people, and I, I can't even hundreds. No doubt. And uh, I've, I've I've met one Scott. Huh. I met I met him here. I met him here actually. A guy called Sean Michael from Kilmarnock. Right. <laughs> <laughs> right. Covered in, covered in tattoos, and he says, "I, I can't drink, Graham. I've, I've I've had a blood transfusion." Oh. <laughs> Wow, really? I said, well, I said, well, that's pretty heavy. He said, yeah, blood transfusion. I'll go and drink water. <clears throat> well, yeah. So he, he was, uh, he, he, he and I watched the, the football together, and he was an expert. He is an expert on Scottish history, so I, it's, it's really good to, to be with him. And uh, yeah, I just had a, in my nine days here with Chris, I mean, he, he is, he's an extraordinary person and uh, yeah cool I, I just lost complete contact with everybody being in his orbit and uh, yeah so it's it's been a very I mean he is constantly breathing he's rolling on the floor uh, he was born into a dead body but you said uh, that his body yeah, his body has, he was, he had boils, he has broken bones, uh, smashed, he, he clicks when he moves, he, he has to constantly work on his pain. Wow. And when he, when he talks about pain, he's, you know, like, you know, there's this lifetime, then there's other lifetimes, and all the pain is just, it's never ending. And he goes, there, he goes into more and more, into deep pain and he's got a healer guy who's amazing who fixed my head he just came up this guy came up to my head and starts pushing my jaw around and <clears throat> he says there you go there you go you've had a shard in your eye you've got a shard up your nose you've had your face smashed so many times and cut up so that you wouldn't come back again but you know here you are so who what yeah he was saying that you know i've had my face smashed in so many times in past lives that um, oh, right. no doubt. Bring, it back, bring it back together and then chop to pieces so that they believe that if you cut someone into pieces, it wouldn't come back again, which is not true. Um, yeah, so, yeah. Yeah. So? So I just, I just sit with that and uh, Memories coming back, uh, more, especially being stretched. This this uh, this arm is really whoa, sore. My my right hip. He Chris put my right hip back in alignment, and uh, <clears throat> it was very sore for three days. But then it's, it's released now, so I'm, I'm walking cleanly, and my shoulders are back in into the position they should be. So, yeah, he, he did a lot of work on me. So well, that's good. Very good. Very good. Yeah. Well, what else? Hello, Gene. Hello, Graham. <laughs> There's nothing else to say, really, is there? 
it's like uh, I, I, I feel um, basically Chris wants to take breath to the next level and he wants to focus on uh, San Francisco in that area and he, he needs my help because uh, he's he's uh, <laughs> he's too out there so people are scared of him right uh, <clears throat> quite rightly so um, so it's it's interesting and he just today he just said hey I can't see my daughter because you're here so can you leave <laughs> and I went okay and I packed my bags and he took me downtown and dropped me off and said, here's a coffee shop. See you. Bye. Yep. So it was, uh, that's, that's done. That, that cycle's done. And, and basically, he's talking about 10 plus one dimensions, which is when you get to nine, people, you know, he's saying Fleming talked about five dimensions. That's nothing. Five dimensions is nothing. When you get to nine plus one, then what happens is the 10, zero is not a number. Zero is a symbol. And that basically you go back into, after nine, you go 10, then 11, you go back into another cycle. It's a spring. It's a, it's a helix. It's a DNA. It's our DNA. And we are springs and we're constantly moving on the spinning planet. We are constantly dancing and moving. And as long as you're moving and flowing, you can basically move up and down the time cycles and move in and out of any realm you want. Uh, so he's saying, I'm in all realms at once. I'm not here. What you're seeing is an image of me. I'm not here. <clears throat> I'm, I'm, I'm breath. I am breath, which is life for him. So he, yeah. I mean, yeah. Okay. So a real pleasure just to experience that <laughs> and uh, see what's next. And it's interesting that as soon as I left him, boom, <laughs> Everybody reappears. Everybody's Facebooking me, messaging me, WhatsApping me, Susanna, uh, Wolfgang, you know, others. And I know I'm back into the into the populace, into the into the people. So, so it's where I belong, and uh, it's not where he belongs. He he doesn't want to talk to anybody. He's bored. <laughs> He's like, what? I, I know everything. I don't. What, what I want to do? You know, I'm just bored. So he says, I might, I might create hell if I want to, and you might have to stop me. <laughs> oh, he might create so, hell? Yeah, he says, I've got nefarious ideas. And I, uh, you know, my, my vision or what I want to do is, you know, he's like, we have to destroy these systems. Uh, it's not, the it's, systems it's are not, destroying it's, themselves. Nobody has to do anything. They're, they're self-destructing. Nobody's got to do anything. You know? Well, I'm finding that he, he, he just wants to have fun now. And he's, I think he's, he said, you're the first person that's physically come into my house. Wow. Um, so you're sitting in my lounge and you're here, which is a big deal. So he respected that. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm just to see what happens next. Um, yeah. So his plan, his, his plan, his plan is basically to see if I can help him set up some groups, and then he said, "Yeah." And then when we get sort, sorted, he's mentioned you that we get Jin involved, we get the Thai people involved, because Thailand's very important to him. Um, people are very strong there. His wife's Thai, and he says, I'll, "I'll take you to Thailand, and, and we'll go to some places and, and, and meet some." Brahmins and other things so yeah it, it feels it, it feels good and, and I'm even though I'm down to like eleven dollars or something <laughs> I, I'm still feeling very blessed that that you know even the guy I met in the bar here just guy John said hey you come stay with me sure no problem no problem so yeah but and um the potential to earn a lot of money and enjoy and have fun is, is all there too. Well, yeah. So what yeah. do you want to do? Well, my, my first, I had a really good chat with Guillaume and that's good. Guillaume is asking for me. 
he's, he's saying to Susanna, Pape, Pape, Pape. Yeah. So that that's good. And uh, yeah, just allowing things just to fall into place as they, as they fall. You know, like you and I are talking now. Tammy and I tried to talk about an hour ago. It wouldn't work. Zoom didn't work. Hmm. I don't think she's, she's, well, I don't know what she's trying to control me or trying to push me into a certain time slot. I don't know. I don't, I don't know what what she, she I'm not telling you what she's about, but <clears throat> what, what I'm Con, uh, who's the wind turbine guy I work with, he's invited me to Oregon for Thanksgiving, which is a big deal to invite me to his ranch and his family. And I, I, I think for him, I'm I'm a friend. He's, he's not had a friend before, so that that feels good. And my dad, when I talk to my dad, he's he's much clearer now with me. Uh, my mum's calmed down. My sister's calmed down. So yeah, it's it's yeah, it's flowing, it's easy. And it's good to know you're always there. It's good to know, you know even though I you know we are talking now about you know messaging and all these things aren't as adequate as this face to face. So and we're recording, which is good so People can say, "Hey, I remember, I remember that." <clears throat> and uh, yeah, I, I don't really have too much to say. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know, man. I guess you'll figure it out eventually. That's all. I mean, I got so much to. I got things going here. You know, I got. You know, Charlie just got. He's getting all the equipment for the restaurant over here. I got a restaurant opening over here. I got, you know, we got the school happening. We got people coming to volunteer. So I'm just, I don't really, you know, you, you, you just do whatever you need to do because I got my stuff going on. So it's all good. Good, it's good to hear. Good, it's good to hear. Good, but it's a good place for all the people because, I mean, I'm sure, for instance, that, you know, all these people in the different groups, like the Jungian groups or the, you know, the, the, the conversation groups, I'm sure that they would all like to have a place to come to, to have wonderful uh, interactions. So we have all these beautiful... Um, facilities for wonderful interactions like we have a little building out back with all the all the you know couches all the way around and big windows and then and Charlie just did the most beautiful tile job on the kitchen floor in there like he did you know because we're going to have a professional kitchen in the in the next building so Charlie just did the most gorgeous tile on the floor and then he's got he just got a, a th like a three Three bay sto uh, sink, and then he's got to get a professional stove, and then he's going to get a walk-in cooler, and we're going to have like we're going to have classes, we're going to have gardening classes, so it's all like absolutely happening right here. Like I said, good. So yeah, I mean it's really good, you know. So I'm ex I'm so excited, you know. I'm just like all alpha bitch about everything right about now, you know. Just like okay, we're gonna do this, we're gonna do this, this is gonna happen, and this is gonna happen, and everybody's like okay, okay, okay. You know? I just I love it. You know? <clears throat> So before they want to fight with me all the time, I'm like, okay, fine, do it your way because I don't care. There's nothing personal for me. I'm up in here having a good time. I don't really care who else is having a good time. So people are out there and they're whining and they're miserable. And then they come here and then they're happy again. And then it's like, okay, go back out there and do whatever it is you were doing. Like, I don't really care. It's not really affecting me, you know? Yeah. It's simple. So now, now, everybody's yeah. like, now Charlie's like, comes up here like, everybody's miserable. And I go, hello, you know? Like, yeah, there's only you here. Oh yeah. I'm just trying to find a, a, a plug point because I'm just about to run out of battery. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and you and the the grandchildren are giving you less grief. You know, okay. really, uh, like I just, I don't, I don't have much patience for people's shenanigans. I mean, if people, you want to shenanigate, there's plenty of people to shenanigate with. I, mean, I got, you know, Charlie comes up, Charlie, oh, he, certain people, I tell them, Charlie, this, this, Charlie knows what to do. If I say to Fleming, this, this, he knows what to do, he does it, you know. Um, Harry's pretty good, too. Harry, if I say, Harry, this needs this, he usually complies because this makes sense. You know, I don't really have time. So a 10-year-old wants to give me grief about shit. Go ahead, you know, give me grief. Look at me. Yeah. You know, I'm just a bit. I am a bitch. I mean, we already established that. Just the bottom line. You know, 
I'm a bitch. Jean <laughs> Marie the bitch. I am. It's seriously <laughs> true. It's so bad, you know. I don't fucking have time for bullshit. You know, it's just like because it's happening. Let me just hang on a hang, hang on a second, Jen. Uh, Annie, where can I plug this in? Thank you. Here we go. God. I've got I'm gonna plug in next to Christmas lights. <clears throat> uh, come on. Come on. Is that me? Am I charging them? Uh, no. Uh. Sorry, hang on. Uh. I think that. It's not, why is that not, why is that not charging? Here we go. It's charging. Here we go. Is that working? Yeah, I think that. Oh, it's shutting down. I'll, I'll, I'll join you again. Oh, okay. Ebs. It's not there, so that's cool. Whatever. Do I have an unstable internet connect connection? That's bullshit. <laughs> Okay. Hey there. Yeah, I tried to talk to Fleming this morning, but he says I'm, I'm. Uh, he was he's busy. <clears throat> um, yeah, I talked to him last week, and I talked to Sophie a bit. Sophie's everywhere. She's just <laughs> she's you know connecting with people, jumping in. It's great to see. Yeah, I love Sophie. She's wonderful. 
yeah, she's like very clear and loving. And, yeah. yeah. I, love, I really like her. Yeah, she's definitely a good connection. I really enjoy I, do, I like her a whole lot. So, he's wonderful. He's very intuitive. He came up with this beautiful link that I had been looking for for ages. I was looking for it all last week, and he just posted it like that. I'm like, oh, my God, I've been looking for that for weeks, you know? Maybe a week or so, but I couldn't get the right I couldn't get the right terms to for searching on YouTube. But he, he just posted. I was like, that's magic. Like that was like mad total magic. Well, that's a good. That's a good sign. Yeah, he's. Uh, yeah, he's in a good place. I spoke to Tex and Neil Davidson yesterday. Uh, they're they're in good form. Um, yeah, and I, I, I actually find I miss Europe. I, 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 uh, I, I like I like here. At the same time, Europe has a very different. Uh, there's so much more grounded power in Europe with the history and the. I mean, especially Vienna. I love Vienna. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's it's, why I like being here. I love it here because of the history and my person. I mean, for you, you want your person history this is the dutch the dutch thea was digging in the backyard and all over the backyard they find this thick layer of ash and it's because the british burnt kingston to the ground back in the you know 1700s or something like that you know, they came in and they burnt the whole thing no history is really important you know it really is yeah, and I find that uh, most of the people I meet here have have some awareness of their history and their connection. Has to... no history. No, that's not true. That's not true. <laughs> okay. California is like California is like La La Land. It's really kind of you know unground. It's a little bit ungrounded in California. People are a little bit spacey, you know, which can be good and and can be not good, you know, depending. But I think it's good to be, you know. I mean, it's nice to access that, but you don't want to stay there. I mean, I don't want to stay there. I love California, but I, I could never live in California. You know, I wander up and down the coast. What the fuck? There he's gone again. Yeah, it's a nice place to visit and to hang out with these people. And to, but I generally, I always get the feeling that, that, that I'm not really connecting with them. No, they're, 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 they're spacey. You know, they're like, because they, they, they like to get to the edge. You know, the, the, Pacific, that's the edge, you know, and it's cold water. Where you, there's no place else to go. It's, the California is like the, that's where people die. People die in California. I'm serious. Yeah. <laughs> you know? I've met many dead people. No doubt. I've got to say, the scariest experience of my life was meeting the psychotic veteran. He, he was like, uh, I knew I was going to meet him. I, I, I got up, I left Boog's house, and I walked at 8 o'clock in the morning, and I said, I know I'm going to meet this guy. And I walked down the town, 8 a.m., and there he was, standing next to the cinema. And I thought, no, I've got, to, I've got to move towards this. I can't run away from it. So I went straight at him. And he went, hey, brother. And uh, I was told by somebody else that he, this guy carries a gun. He's got samurai swords in his house. He's uh, a violent man, and uh, I, I stood with him, and he pulled out some bread, and he broke bread with me. <laughs> yeah, and yeah. Uh, I just try to keep, keep in my heart and say, hey, what do you need? And I bought my coffee, and, and when we went into the coffee shop, people noticeably looked fearful because he was in there, and people walked away from him. They were scared of him. Mm -hmm. So it was quite something. His his power is incredible, and uh, he starts talking about you know different dimensions that he's been in, and he saved children from flames and and petrol, and then he cut this guy's head off. He ripped this guy, he tore his face off, all this stuff. And I was like, what? So full on. Then he took me down this alley, saying, "I want you to come here," and I, I followed him, and I said, "Hey, I'm going to go back." And then he 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 headbutted me here. <laughs> as a sign of camaraderie, hey brother, we were in, we were in Nam together, and I and I'm like, okay, you just keep care, you be, be peaceful. But uh, yeah. Yeah, well, yeah. So, there's quite there's a lot that 
Not only that, but the cra my father always my father always said the cra the, the inmates are running the asylum, and that's who's running in this country. That's who's running, you know, the whole political thing. They're fucking crazy people. They have you know, they got no. So it's like so it's like we're on a spaceship. You know, you like the like I feel like I'm you know I'm the crew of the spaceship, the only crew person in the spaceship is taken over by lunatics, heavily armed fucking lunatics. How do you take it back from them? You know, you know the spaceship is being run by lunatics with weapons. How do you get the? How do you rest? You know, how do you rest the uh, helm well, well, out of the well, hands of the, of the of the maniacs? That's my my concern. I don't care about anything else. We'll, we'll find a way. I don't know about you, man. You're busy. You got shit to do. But I'm finding a way. You know, whatever you got to do, do it. But I'm fine. That's what I'm here for. I mean, like, I know what I'm doing, basically. I mean, I'm my father's daughter. It's nothing else. Yeah. You know, I mean, I got, I got, I have response. I, I'm, a, I have responsibilities. I'm a responsible person. I gotta do the thing that I, I you know, I, I'm here to do. I know what I'm here to do. I got it all written down. I got it all drawn out. I got charts. I got maps. I got charts. I got everything. I'm fucking OCD on this shit. Now. It's like, <laughs> and I transmit the information to as many people as I can, so that they know too, right? My, my my sense from the way with Chris was speaking is that um, you know the way that humanity will unite is when we are uh, attacked by another, um, and it's just preparing for that time. And he's really focusing kids. He says, "I don't give a shit about the adults or whatever. I'm I'm focused on the kids. If we can help them remember and to breathe and to not trap them or." It's great. Kids, I mean, kids are, you know, I, the, the thing with the kids is that they take the kids, the kids are fine until they start putting them in school and then they start getting, that's the problem with Leon. He comes back with all, like, what? Where'd you learn this? They learned it in school. I'm going, what the fuck? I mean, that, you know, I, and people are complaining about the things that their kids are learning in school. It's like, well, why don't you try homeschooling? And why don't you try, I mean, I, you know, it's a big, well, it's, all inter, it's all interconnected and it's all, that's why I want to do, you know, we're going to do alternative schools. This is the curriculum. People need to know this stuff. People need people need to know how to cook food. People need to know how to grow food. You know, people need to know how to deal with their waste products. People need to know how to keep clean water. Keep your water supply clean. It's really basic shit. You got to know basic shit. shit. And then from there, you know, there's other things to learn. Like, it's like, oh my God, like, please. You know, that's why I'm so interested in all these things. Like, you know, fin horn, fin horn. If you drink beer, then you're you're that's over, that's good good way to drink water because you know it's processed, you know. Yeah, it's another one there, man. More there. I don't care, you know, whatever. I mean, people can brew brew beer. That's why you got microbreweries. People brew beer, like dude. Oh, yeah, beer is beer, beer is a great way to drink water. I mean, some people thrive on other kind of substances. It doesn't matter what it is, but you gotta be start somewhere. How can you have beer if you don't have clean water? What are you gonna fucking like? You know, well, you can take donkey piss and turn it into beer if you want to. That's great. You know, that's not everybody's thing, but you could. You know. Donkey, donkey piss beer. That sounds good. Yeah, right? that, will well. that will sell well in Scotland. No doubt. <laughs> donkey, donkey piss. Oh, let's drink some of that. No doubt. Yeah. Right. Cat's urine. Yeah. <clears throat> that's like the worst. That's just the worst. <laughs> I mean, that's like, that's my, I don't like it. Mm. Whatever. It's all good, I guess. I mean, you wouldn't want to drink it anyway. Well, I've had my whiskey and my own urine as a mixture. That you don't remember nice. you told me that. Yeah. But, uh, I, I Wolfgang drank battery acid. <laughs> Oh, bless him. Oh, Wolfgang. Yeah, he, he had the leftovers of his dinner and then he, he, he mixed it with battery acid and ethanol. So, you know, he's proving some things to himself, but um, yeah. He's his own man. Well, there you have it, folks. I, I there you have it. Welcome to, uh, yeah, welcome to the, the new bar of the 21st century. Yeah. I don't know. I, I, I just, you know. 
I, mean, I just know what I learned from my fatherhood, my father, my whole life. And I haven't seen anybody else's father that's any better than my father. You know, really. You know, never, 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 never encountered. Well, I, I tell you what, as a sort of digression, um, the Glasgow Taoist who lives in Andros, he's really up for a, a reality TV show of some sort. He's a fantastic conversationalist. It's old Nigel, Nigel Gillespie, or he might be Nigel Davidson. He, he won't tell me, or won't confirm to me what his real name is. He said, I was interviewed by the CIA, but I was a bit late for the what? meeting. He what? said he was, he was interviewed by the CIA. But he was late uh, for the meeting? He says, late for the meeting. He says, we, we don't tolerate lateness. He said, I'm, I, I do apologize. Right. <laughs> I got caught up in traffic. So he's, uh, he lives in Andros, and uh, he's invited me to spend some time there with him, which I think is a good idea, just to, to relax on, on the island of Andros. Yeah. Um, yeah, and I'll just, I, just, I just need to sort out DM and my money, and that's it. Oh, whatever you got to do, man. I got, I got things to do, you know. I, mean, I got a really good start going here, you know. And I don't think it's a bad thing. I don't think that you can argue with this as not being a good thing. I mean, you know. I think you've got a great, you know, I'm, I mean, uh, you know, Chris and I talked about you and then how he says, oh, she's, she's, she is where she is, she's in her, she's in her space, she's, she's master of that space and she's, you know, doing what she needs to do and as am I and as are you. So we all know each other for a reason and uh, it's good. Well, I mean, yeah, yeah. You know. I mean, I figure that you're on your way here to kill me, actually, to tell you the truth. I don't think that you'll ever get here to do that. So that's fine with me. You know, can't do it. Well, can't touch this. <laughs> can't. Sorry. Yeah, I, I've got a. Because you don't want to. Why would you want to? Because I'm a. I'm definitely a good thing. You know. Yeah, I, I don't. I don't want to kill anybody. I, I'm. I'm. If there's anybody to kill, it's. Uh, Whatever arises in front of me that, um, that, that whatever transpires over the years to come, I don't know. But uh, really, I'm just excited, really. And uh, everyone around me is very happy. People are laughing over here. The people are just have to have a good time here. That's all. Yeah. I think you tried to kill me, and then you got killed by some of my minions, and now you're in hell or purgatory or something that's probably like purgatory or something well i might, I might be i mean being with chris was felt like being taken into the, an entirely different realm for nine, nine days he had it he attacked me one night because i think he felt he had to or something it felt really weird um not physically attacked me but he said why did you eat all the turkey <laughs> I said, well, uh, well, it's in there. Get that. It's for, it's for, at the beginning, I came in and you said, hey, take whatever you want. And uh, then you're telling me that I can't eat the turkey. <laughs> I don't understand. And, uh, you know, I, I ate most of his chocolate. I, I had food with chocolate. <laughs> I had, that happens to me all the time. I got Leon. Leon caught me a new asshole the other day. You know why? Like, what is your name? Muffin top. You had a muffin, muffin top, you know? Yeah. And I, I, was, I was starving. I'm working. I get hungry. I go, I go roaming around. I'm looking for something. I go downstairs and there's a muffin top. So I ate the muffin top. And then he's like, hey, oh, then his mom comes upstairs. His mom comes upstairs and she's like, hey, Leon's muffin top. And I said, well, it was in there, you know? <laughs> but they said, yeah, I get the same thing. I get the same thing. No, not like I haven't fucking fed people for the past 50 years or whatever. You know, no. No account to that whatsoever. No, no, I eat somebody's muffin top and I'm in big trouble. See? <laughs> Terrible thing. <laughs> I ate his chocolate bar too, but I paid him for the chocolate bar, so I guess that's. Well, he gave me a hundred bucks, so I owe him a hundred bucks. Oh, Chris, uh, Chris did? Uh, don't worry yeah. about it. I mean, God, damn it. Uh, yeah, I don't worry about it. No, people uh, do that me all the time. You do that for people. You're a good person. It's not like you don't deserve it. You deserve it. No, you, 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 know, you pay it forward. He paid it forward. You pay it forward, you know. Don't get too anxious about it. It's just 
<laughs> yeah, well, I'm choosing nickers. Nickers. You're fucking knickers in a twist. What you got? <laughs> I've got my. I, I don't wear knickers. <laughs> okay. I'm I'm free balling for months now. Right. <laughs> hey, it's, it's much better for the health. Oh, there's Jonathan. has appeared. Jonathan is finally. So interesting that Jonathan appeared when I talked to it free balling. <laughs> appeared where? Where? Well, Jonathan Mooney, who's the guy I'm uh, staying with tonight, he's just oh, yeah. finally, uh, he's finally popped up. On what? Oh, okay, Graham, we're tied up until round seven. I can pick you up from down ten around then. Cool. All right, good. I've got, I've got three and a half hours to to hang with these. Uh, I, I love it. They're all drinkers. So it's, it's all three o'clock in the afternoon. They're all drinking. <laughs> You can find anything you want, you know. I mean, that's yeah. the beauty. It's like for New York. That's what Krishna does. He brought his spiritual teacher to New York, and they're going through the East Village, and they're going, "Hey, you got crack over here. Hey, you got some, you no, know, got snack over here. Hey, I got, you know, underage girls over here." But the guy's like, "Um, oh my God!" Like he's so embarrassed because he's like his spiritual teacher. Then, the, then, then the, then the spiritual teacher goes, "Oh no, this is very good." New York is paradise because you can get whatever you want. <laughs> it's like, yes, you got that. get whatever you want. I mean, everything, you know, high culture, low culture, you know. Well, a, a basic plan is that when I go back to Vienna, I'm meeting uh, Nicholas Haugenader. I, I think you connect with Nicholas, yeah? Yeah. I, that, that's great... my, that's my, one of my favorite new words. I go around going, Haugenader, Haugenader. <laughs> I like to he, say the word. He, he is a Viking through and through. He, he's Thor. He's, and I know that he's going to teach my boy. I knew it. I, as soon as I met him, I said, no, you, you're going to help me in. Um, and he's so on the money. He's, he's, he's just he's there. And I introduced him to Wolfgang. They've met. And Nicholas is one of the highest ranked sommeliers in Austria. Nice. Uh, very, very experienced with wine and and, and spirits, and he uh, he's doing abracadabra, which is oh yeah, you know, yeah I saw that. It's a storytelling. Yeah. Right? yeah, he's trying to bring stories down. He, he yeah. wants Austria, Austrians are dead. People, there, there are so many dead people there, and he wants to get them on stage, tell your story, yeah. say say anything. Oh yeah. Just say fucking anything. Just stand there and just tell us who well, you are. That's where they. That's where you can make the connection between. This is my uh, my idea of of, of um, um, what do they call it when you raise the dead? What do you call it? Uh, resurrection, right? So yeah. the resurrection. This is my idea of the resurrection. The resurrection is you get people, you get their stories, right, and then you get them to go and have their stories filmed, you know, so that they have a record of their transgressions, and then you have shrines to. Like movie theaters where people can go and watch all these terrible things that they did if they want to, or they can go over here and have a good life if they want to. Or both. Well, I think that I think that the the movie theaters we need are ones where people aren't sitting down; they're actually standing and moving. That'd be better. <laughs> and they can dance, and the, somehow the screen's not at the far end; it's in the middle, yeah. or yeah. and then. Well, you don't it's even it's, it's, yeah. No, and it's more live. It's more, hey, hi, how are you doing? Okay, now, right, everyone, let's dance together. Let's breathe together. Let's do this stuff together. Yeah, well, yeah, that's um, true. And uh, so, as I, to finish that thread, my, my, I'm going to go back to Vienna, and then they're supposed to be organising an event for me for the 30th of November when I St Andrews Day. Right. Scotland, so I'm gonna do my do something in a kilt, right. and, uh, and then uh, also here I'm gonna do something before I go, and then uh, oh he's back, he's come back, he needed me. Okay, that's cool. Brian is back, um, and then the, my idea is to uh, um, hang out with Guillaume for a bit. See where the land lies with Susanna. See if my parents are okay, and then I'm going to come back to the U.S. in spring. Um, probably, probably I'll, I'll, this time I'll go to your side of the world. 
So, you know, I've done this bit, I'll go and I'll now do that bit. So that, that's the that's vague. It's, it's not vague. I can feel it. I can I can see myself being there. Um, <laughs> you can't. You can't even imagine it. It's, like, it's too terrifying. You can't even conceptualize the idea. It's beyond your wildest imaginings. You can't handle it, man. You have to have experience before you can handle it. <laughs> but I've been to New York before. Come on. No, you have not. Where were you in New York? Bullshit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, in Actually, your dreams. In your I tell you, here's the truth. I was supposed to be in New York at least three times. So when I was first engaged to Callie, my my ex fiance, I I had the ticket to New York in my hands, and I didn't marry her, and I could have gone to New York by myself. But I and I met a guy who said, "Hey, if you want a job in America, just go to the toilets." in Hard Rock Cafe, and there's a guy who, who sits at the bottom, ask him and he'll get you a job. So that was in 2000. And then I was supposed to go to New York again, so three times, but I, I, never, I, never, I never went. So there's clearly something for me there. Uh, yeah. yeah. What are you? Well, I mean, it's terrifying. New York is terrifying. I, I mean, I'm, I'm New York. Well, I've, I've got good friends. I've got a good friend for yourself. There's a guy, Johan uh, Grimon Prez. <laughs> Johan, Yo, Johan Grimon Prez, who is. Uh, you're afraid that I'll. You're afraid that I'll eat you alive. Is what you're scared of. That's nah. what you're. Yeah, you are scared. Jealous. No, nah, I'm standing here. Very calmly, Jean. <laughs> I'll throw, throw, I'll throw snowballs into your, into your attic. Uh, they're all arriving in this. They're all arriving in this bar. This bar is, it's all busying up. <laughs> well, you know, it's okay. I understand your trepidation. I mean, it is pretty terrifying. What, what are you talking? You're, you're projecting, Gene. I'm not. Just, I'm not, I'm not sure. Am I scared of anything? I'm not. Have you I'm ever not, known me to be scared of anything? What am I scared of? Don't be project. You're projecting. <laughs> so. What? So what are you scared of, if anything? I'm not scared of anything. Okay. <laughs> I'm scared of an empty glass. There you go. Cool, man. So hey, listen. Let's uh, let's uh, talk again. Let's reconvene <laughs> at an appropriate time where you can harass me and and. Uh, <laughs> Alright, Jean. I love you. I love you too, man. Seriously, I really do. Okay, be good. You'd be good, I, too. Okay. I'm always Ciao. good. I'm the, I'm the best there is, as a matter of fact. Okay. No, I am. So. Bye for now. Ciao.